bone injection gun, or the BIG, is the world's first spring-loaded automatic I.O. device. It is designed to allow vascular access when a patient's vein cannot be found in a timely manner, often during an emergency. Invented by an orthopedic surgeon in the late 80s, the BIG is compact, disposable, has a shelf life of five years, requires no maintenance, and is used in more than 45 countries worldwide. The BIG is leading the market in automatic intraosseous devices around the world. The BIG is designed for use in all clinical settings, including hospitals, ambulances, rescue teams, and the battlefield. It fits in every pocket and is ready for use anytime, any place, and anywhere. There are two versions of the device, a blue adult unit with a 15-gauge needle and a red pediatric unit with an 18-gauge needle. Regardless of the needle's gauge, both devices have the same basic components. A red safety latch, a shaft that houses the spring, piston, and needle, a red or blue barrel with directional arrow for correct deployment, and safety wings to ensure proper handling. The pediatric BIG is intended for use in the proximal tibia on term newborns to children 12 years of age and features an adjustable barrel to determine penetration depth according to the patient's age. Depths range from 0.5 centimeters to 1.5 centimeters. The adult BIG is intended for use on patients aged 12 years and up. It's preset to an insertion depth of 2.5 centimeters or one inch and can be used in both the proximal tibia and the proximal humerus. The BIG does not require any assembly or any outside power source. Simply peel the packaging in the designated location and hold the BIG with your non-dominant hand by its blue or red barrel. The safety latch should never be removed before the BIG is positioned firmly on the designated anatomical site. Make sure that throughout the procedure, the BIG will be held by its red or blue barrel only. Again, the BIG is FDA approved for use in two major sites, the proximal tibia and the proximal humerus. The proximal humerus site can be used for adult patients only. Use the red pediatric BIG on term newborns to children 12 years of age. Use the blue adult BIG on patients 12 years of age and older. In both adults and pediatrics, the outset point is the tibial tuberosity. To locate the tibial tuberosity, palpate down from the patella, or kneecap, toward the foot until you feel a rounded protrusion. This rounded protrusion is called the tibial tuberosity. For adult placement, begin at the tibial tuberosity and go approximately two centimeters medially or toward the inner part of the leg to find the flat portion of bone. This is called a tibial plateau. From the tibial plateau, go up approximately one centimeter or a half an inch, proximally toward the patella. Our goal is to deploy the needle through the thinnest portion of the cortex and in the area that contains the highest vascular content. For pediatric placement, Find the same outset point, which is the tibial tuberosity. From the tibial tuberosity, go one to two centimeters toward the inner part of the leg to find the flat portion of bone called the tibial plateau. From the tibial plateau, go distally or down toward the foot, approximately one centimeter or half an inch. Now, using the red barrel, adjust the big's penetration depth according to the patient's age. The age and length are both marked on the device. The markers are 0 to 3 years, 0.5 to 1 centimeter, 3 to 6 years, 1 to 1.5 centimeters, 6 to 12 years, 1.5 centimeters. Once placement and depth are determined for either device, use your non-dominant hand to hold the red or blue barrel firmly at the penetration site. Hold the big at a 90 degree angle using the aseptic technique throughout. Lay the palm of your hand on the leg while holding the big in place. This will add stability to the technique. While holding the barrel firmly, pull out the red safety latch with your dominant hand by squeezing the two sides together. Do not discard the red safety latch because we will use it again later. While continuing to hold the barrel firmly against the site, place two fingers of your dominant hand under the wing portion and the palm of that hand on top to stabilize when triggering. Use consistent and gentle downward pressure to trigger the big. Note that no extra force is required.
Pull out the trocar by pulling upward and twisting. Only the cannula remains in the bone. Always discard sharps such as the needleless cannula into the sharps container. Use the red safety latch to provide additional stability. Push the red safety latch around the cannula and tape it down. Bone marrow can now be aspirated into a syringe for laboratory sampling. However, do note that a lack of bone marrow does not mean the I.O. is improperly placed. Connect a stopcock or an extension set to the cannula. Flush 20 to 30 cc's of saline before injecting fluids or drugs. In conscious patients, consider administering a local anesthetic prior to administering fluids. Fluids and drugs can now be administered as required. As always, follow your service's protocols. To remove the cannula from the bone, use the square notch in the red safety latch by placing it around the cannula hub. Pinch the combination between your fingers and pull straight up. Some twisting may be required. The bone injection gun family of products include reloadable training devices, manual reloading tools, automatic reloading tools, and the first of its kind adult intraosseous training leg complete with replaceable skins and simulated bone cartridges.